presented by Ceramic Speed, part of the victory. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob Championship Edition. We are brought to you by Ceramic Speed. We are at Challenge Denmark, and our second place finisher today, the Honey Badger herself, Mary Beth Ellis. Congrats on second. I know usually the top of the podium is a little more comfortable for you with eight Ironman wins, but second was okay today. Yeah, and um, my, my friend Michelle Vesterby um, won her hometown race, so I couldn't be happier for her. And, you know, obviously I'd... I love, would rather win, but, um, you know, second to her, she's a great athlete and she's in fantastic shape building up for Frankfurt. So, yeah, second was the best I could do today. It was interesting when I saw her running and I was telling her this, that people talk about her as a diesel. She's got one pace and usually she runs her a half marathon. Basically, uh, she's not much faster than she would be for a full marathon in terms of pacing. And when I saw her running today, she looked a real runner. She, her, she looked like different than I've seen her look before. Yeah, I, I know just talking to her, um, that's been the focus for her and Luke is to really get her running fast, which I think um, in those championship Ironmans, you, you need to yeah, be, yeah. yeah, you need to be competitive on the run. And she's always been solid on the swim and bike. And now it seems like she's maintained those and is just slowly getting the run to where, where she wants it. And she has that big aerobic engine from swimming for years and biking. So, um, you know, I think she's going to continue to improve year over year. When people see online, you know, Mary Beth Ellis, four-minute penalty, swim, and they're going to go, what the heck? Was she, she doing like our, our boy Harry on, on Javier Gomez and playing the bongos on that guy? What, what, what happened out there? No, I, I didn't beat up in any um, oh. wildlife out there. Um, I, um, I came in off the swim and um, didn't have my wetsuit in the bag, so I went back and, and put it into the bag and... Um, I just not good enough. Obviously. Yeah, the legs were hanging out, so I came into T2 and had the four-minute stand down, just getting off the bike. So when you get something like that, because at that point, I'm sure you're thinking, okay, I'm two minutes down, I can run my way to, the, you know, potentially run my way to the win, and that you talk about losing four minutes with a half marathon, that pretty much takes the win out of it. Yeah, you know, it's tough. I I think it's always a good mental challenge. Um, because you never know. I mean, I got a penalty one year in Kona, and, and it was really mentally tough. And I know um, other athletes, like Kelly Fredrickson, got the penalty at 70.3 Worlds. And it's it's hard. I think it's it's always good to practice that, though, because you never know when you go to your A race, you might get a penalty and have to really persevere through it. So you just try to refocus and, and try to do your best um, and make up as much time as you can. You were mentioning that uh, I think you lost something like 30 minutes to Marinda last year in Kona. How much of your focus this year is the run? I, I think um, all, all three is really the focus. Um, you know, I've, uh, the run, obviously, I, I can't run the way I did last year and expect to be in the top three. It's just not going to happen anymore. And nowadays, you need to be able to run 305 to three three hours to be in the mix exactly, yeah. if and that's assuming you get off the bike with with the in the front so um i mean the goal will be to keep improving all three and hopefully get off the bike um with the with the front front group and then try to run as close to three hours as possible and it seems easy on paper but then you actually get to kona and you're out there in the conditions with the pressure and the field and it's a lot harder than <laughs> in reality. So, um, but yeah, that'll be the goal is to be able to get off and, and run competitively. Love it. Mary Beth, congrats on another great race. You are always so consistent out there. Thanks so much. And thanks for coming to, to Denmark. I know it's it's been a great first year and just having you here has made it even more special. Oh, my favorite person in the world, Mary Beth Ellis, second place today at Challenge Denmark. We are brought to you by Ceramic Speed. You're watching with Breakfast with Bob, Denmark edition. Hold on, everyone. We'll be right back. Presented by Ceramic Speed, part of the victory.